Identify the three screws located at the bottom of the base plate, as well as the spacers located between the fill cup and the base plate. This can be viewed in between the struts. Using the four millimeter wrench, you can remove all three screws as well as the spacers and set those aside to easily locate them later for installation. Once all three screws have been removed, gently place your fingers in between the base plate and the distal end of the cup and lift up. This will separate the fill cup from the infinite socket. To begin installation of the fill cup in the infinite socket, begin by identifying your components. This includes the infinite socket, the spacers, the mounting screws, a piece of painter's tape, a four millimeter Allen wrench, and the fill cup. The first step will begin by inserting the mounting screws through the base plate, making sure that the cap heads of the screws are facing outward. The second step will be to use a piece of painter's tape to secure these mounting screws into place. This will ensure that the screws do not loosen or fall out during installation. The next step is to place the spacers on the inside of the screws. Then you'll take the fill cup and orient the valve along the medial aspect and gently insert it into the infinite socket. Once inserted, you will align the threads located on the bottom of the cup to the exposed ends of the mounting screws. Use your four millimeter Allen wrench to puncture through the painter's tape and fasten the screws into the exposed threads of the distal end of the cup. Each of these three screws do not need to be over fastened. They only need to be finger tight. Once resistance is met at each of these screws and the cup is securely tightened, installation is complete.